What up YouTube fam, Nathan Heights here, and for those of you who don't know, just until recently I was working and making a living as a tattoo artist, I was working professionally, I've worked in plenty of shops around my uh, area in the San Fernando Valley, so I know how hard it can be for those of you who are just starting a tattoo, maybe you're tattooing from home, or maybe you're just a kick-ass artist who uh, has built up a portfolio and wants to get an apprenticeship. It's difficult, especially when you have to build up the confidence that it takes to walk into a tattoo shop and ask, and actually ask them to uh, allow you to apprentice or to allow you to work there. So, I genuinely want to help you guys. I'm going to tell you guys some things that I wish I would have been told uh, the day I decided that I wanted to be a tattoo artist. It would have helped me a lot and saved me a lot of time. But instead, I did things my way for you know a couple years until finally I, I made enough contacts and friends uh, in the industry to uh, give me this information and prepare me for for what was my professional tattooing career. But before uh, you guys just take what I have to say on faith, here's a couple pictures of some tattoos I did. Uh, this one right here is one I never got to finish. This line was coming out pretty badass. As you can see, I did realism. Here's some uh, horror portraits. Yeah, so, you know, I know what I'm talking about. So, the first thing you guys gotta know, and this has gotta be the most important piece of information I'm gonna give you. It's gonna sound so basic, but trust me, it's super important. You have to kill the ego, okay? You have to realize that you don't know shit. As much shit as you think you know, or as much more shit as you might know uh, than the next person, you have to go into the shop with the attitude that you don't know shit, especially if it's your first shop ever working in, okay? You have to be prepared for your artwork to be severely criticized even at times by people who aren't even as good as you, but uh, you're, this is something that you just have to let go, okay? Uh, by doing this, you open your mind up to learning, and you actually allow yourself to be a... Uh, you, you allow people the ability to, to be able to work with you and uh, actually accept you, because really, it, when you don't have any experience in a tattoo shop, they're really taking a chance on you by allowing you to come there and work. In my personal experience, what I did is I tattooed from home for a while. I became friends by meeting people uh, through other friends and acquaintances. And eventually I got introduced to people who have actually worked in shops. Maybe they worked in a shop, now they're working from home. And they gave me this information and basically helped me get prepared. Okay, after you kill the ego and uh, just humble yourself completely, uh, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta get your paperwork in check. I know all around the United States is very different, but right here in California we have the bloodborne pathogens, which requires an eight-hour class. Uh, when I the last time I, when I was tattooing was about a year ago. At that time they allowed you to take it online. Uh, there's only a couple reputable places, but you have to do this, okay? And uh, if you come into a shop looking for work, already having your your bloodborne pathogens like I did. It shows that you're dedicated and it makes you more hireable, okay? Uh, this piece of information, this next piece is going to sound a little sketch, but everyone has their own path, not everyone goes the conventional route. You can do it the way I did it. And what you got to do is you got to aim low, okay? You got to be willing to start at the bottom. See me, I was tattooing from the house, I got a little bit of skill, I thought I was the fucking bomb even though I sucked ass. And what I did is I went to other shops where I saw friends were getting tattooed. Not necessarily the best shops in the world, but I went there and I asked for an apprenticeship, okay? They saw my work, they saw that I could do some straight lines here and there, and basically what happened is they allowed me to come, clean the shop, and bring in clients as long as my clients paid and the shop got the cut, okay? So I wasn't really learning anything, but I was provided a place uh, to tattoo in an area that was sanitary, and on top of that, I was exposed to other artists who were working at the shop, some of them very good, some not so good, and I stuck to the ones who are very good, and I did everything I could to learn from them indirectly, okay? Sometimes this is the way you go. it's it's got to go, you know, this is reality, not everything's going to go perfectly how you desire, okay? So that was the, what, third? So you, you need to be humble, okay? Be prepared to be criticized. Have your paperwork in check. I know all the states are different, but... In California, it's the bloodborne pathogens, okay? And then you have to go and be willing to start at the very bottom, okay? Once you get in, that's all you need. You got your foot in the door, you know, learn learn here and there from the better artists in the shop, and, uh, you know, learn indirectly. I know there's other people 
There's other routes you can do, and I've seen these routes go really well as well. Probably better than the original route uh, that I went. But you, another way, way you can go about it is actually being a fucking kick-ass artist on paper, getting together a portfolio, bringing it into an artist that you uh, respect and admire, and asking them for an apprenticeship. Usually they'll they'll try to charge you. What you can do is you can come get tattooed. See, uh, you, you can either you yourself get tattooed or convince a friend to go get tattooed. And while they're there getting tattooed, ask all the questions you can. Uh, bombard them with questions. You know, if they're a dick, they'll, they'll just blow you off. If they're cool, then there's a chance you can get an apprenticeship uh, if you show that you're sincere and they take a liking to your personality. Uh, I have heard of people charging for apprenticeships. Usually they give you a high price just as a way to blow you off because really they don't want to apprentice you. They don't have time for it. Uh, but yeah, those are my pieces of advice. I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, uh, just go ahead, comment below, and I can uh, give you any advice that I have. Trust me, I have it. I've been there, done that, and I went from, you know, ordering a fucking made in China machine off online to getting an apprenticeship to uh, basically teaching myself to tattoo, tattooing from home, getting fucking good, and being able to do shit like this. Okay? So, go ahead and comment. I respond to any comment with merit. And yeah, like and subscribe to my channel. Peace.